What's going on guys, it's Hafo again, and uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a tutorial this week, well I have, but just not many, and uh, it's because I've had like a bad throat and I haven't really been able to talk very much, so uh, I just thought I would do a quick Call of Duty 4 Magic Bullet Lux CC tutorial, colour correction, and uh, I'll just quickly show you a few which I've already pre-prepared, it's a pretty nice CC, and uh, it's basically one that works on most maps, you may have to just adjust the brightness and stuff like that. But I will, yeah, leave a download link for this one in the description. And as you will see here, it's got, like, there's it without, and there's it with. It just brings out the colours and looks really nice. As you can see, there it is with, with the colour correction. There it is without. It kind of darkens up and blares out the feed a bit. And uh, I like it because it brings out, like, the XP bar at the bottom's nice and bright. Just the colours are generally brighter. And there it is with, uh, shipment. So... Uh, it's really easy to do, so I'll just uh, start a new uh, compilation. I'm just using JDL's clips for now because I just had them uh, in a file. So um, I'm just going to go on to uh, say, let me find vague. No, not vacant. I don't like that one. Um, one well, that one will do. Start a new compilation. Yeah. Okay. So let's find a nice pit which I want to use, so we say, um, there, that's alright. Uh, you can see the yellow, it's a bit dull, it's okay, but, so we'll drag on our magic while it looks, and edit it, and I will leave this in the description, open the look file, I called it COD4, nice, <laughs> as I like it. It's too dark as you can see on this map, so what we're going to do is we're just going to reset all of the, uh, our colour curves. And, uh, yeah, you're going to want to change all these depending on what the surroundings are like on the map. I know. The, vi the vignette, I think it's called. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to make it a good bit less intense. As you can see, it's quite nice now. It's a bit dark still. I mean, sort this out a bit. Mess around. Obviously, with the different maps, you're going to have different results. Um, so, with my curves, I'm just going to do the obvious, which I always do. Bend these two up, get more brightness, and then bend these two down. A We're on darker maps, you want to uh, not bend them down too much, otherwise you won't see what's going on. But that's not bad. So I go to my red. Now you look for red, so I've got a couple of reds there. See, this is like a generally fairly bluish map, but there's a few bits of red on the screen, so I'm going to turn them up a bit. Bring out the colours a bit more. And uh, green, yeah, there's quite a bit of green, you can see there's green up there so we'll bring that out and uh, you just you just do this for the whatever maps, I've got some presets for different maps which I thought look quite nice and with the blue, it's quite a blue map as well so turn up the blues a bit and as you can see that's pretty nice it's not too bad um, you can take down the edge softness obviously if you don't like that too much, I think it looks quite nice um, yeah, let's have a look. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, the effect that's going. So there you go. You just add that. It creates kind of a moody blue look on this map. Or as I say, on different maps, you got shipment there. You got crash. That I like that one. So it brings out the blue in the sniper. And you got showdown, which kind of makes it more saturated look. And it looks pretty nice. So if you're interested in a downloading this colour correction, I'll leave it in the description for you guys and uh, also if you download it can I ask can you leave a like please because uh, I've worked pretty hard on this colour correction and uh, yeah thanks a lot guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial